The world as we know it is gone. What we called the mad virus appeared out of nowhere. It made people turn extremely violent, aggressive, and unrestrainable. Soon later, the infected became bloodthirsty, more like vampires than human. There was chaos, panic, and war for survival. Desperate people were just as dangerous as the virus itself. Even our loved ones could become a threat. The infection spread quickly throughout the entire globe. Every region, every country, every city. Drastic measures were taken to get rid of the infected, but they all failed. The last chance for those who seemed immune was to hide in underground shelters. Ones that we improvised in garages and basements. Loaded with food, water, and air filtration systems. These were the places where we survived, sealed from the outside. For so long, we waited for any signal, any info that a cure had been found, and the situation stabilized. Instead, we listened as the world grew quiet. Our resources were becoming depleted. Life support systems were failing. And just as we were losing all hope, we received a distant call. To all survivors, the infection is in decline. Seek others and rebuild. This was the impulse we needed. There were others out there. We could come back to the surface. No more hiding. From the ruins of the old world, we will build our new home. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to Infection Free Zone, the prologue. This is a public demo that is available at the moment, as Infection Free Zone is slated to come out later this year. In this game, you are managing a group of survivors. Survivors who made it through surviving this plague, this outbreak, this infection. Um, let me first answer this guy. We're gonna look for food. Okay, find something to eat as fast as possible. Okay. Now, what we have here is a game that's been developed by the same studio as 112 Operator and 911 Operator, which means, in this case, a couple things. One, you're likely to recognize the game of, let's say, you as the main character, the chief of this group. And two, it has this beautiful mechanic that they're building where you can play in any town in the world. Real towns, real locations. This is a, a hallmark that 112 operator and 911 operator also had. You could play this in your hometown. And you could try and survive in your hometown as a 911 operator, for example. You can now do the same thing as a group of survivors. Quick overview of the HUD. Bottom left hand side, we have the amount of citizens that I currently have. Citizens are divided into the unemployed, or rather, currently, I have all unemployed, and I have a couple of squad members. The squad members can be sent out, and that is what the game wants me to do. So if you select these guys, you can see what their current vision level is. And I can tell them to go look for food in any of these houses. And if you hold shift, you can easily tag orders together. So they're going to go through the uh, through the lane down here. Now the town that I've selected is the town of Crofton in the USA. There are a couple of towns currently available in the game. Well, in this demo, I should say. But what uh, the full game is going to have is that ability to add your own town. Now, what else do we have? Over here, we have a couple of objectives. And you can see that currently, I need to start scavenging. I need to start getting food. You also get a tech tree. Most likely, um, not going to be fully developed in the current version of the game because it's the beta. As you can see, you can eventually develop your own arms. You can start working on your own assault rifles and or sniper rifles. But considering... Um, that this is a 9999 amount of research cost. I think it's not that likely that we're going to be able to do that in the beta. Over here we have some v uh, features that are currently unavailable in the prologue. Time. Um, time does pass. If you are going beyond sunset, it is possible that you'll run into a group of infected. And if you're not properly armed, 
well, let's say you might not have as many survivors as you started out with. Over on the right, resources, food, ammo, weaponry, fuel, construction components, and materials. Why would you want construction components, you might ask? Well, buildings can be turned into other versions. Over here, you got the button that says Adapt Building. I can turn this building right next to my HQ, for example, into a shelter or a warehouse. Warehouses store all resources, shelters store people. These are only a few of the buildings that you can go for. I can also turn this into a greenhouse, potentially. Not in the beta, but in the full game, oh, sorry, not in the demo, but in the full game, most likely you can. Uh, you can turn it into a sawmill, maybe even an arms factory. You can start building palisades. Make this thing, this let's say this neighborhood, fenced off. Of course, it's going to cost you resources, and considering that a metal fence is going to cost me five metal, and I don't have that much, I only got 12, I need to be very, very specific about where I'm going to build my defenses. You also have a couple of buildings that will give you more defenses, such as wooden towers. Allows you to be... Um, a bit more vigilant as well as shoot out of these things. And we have a couple of, let's say, orcs buildings, such as a research center, a hospital, med bay, etc. So, let's go and scavenge some resources. Currently I only have one squad, but I can easily create another one and I can tell these guys to start scavenging here. Note, however, that I only have two weapons in store now. This means that if I build another squad, I'm gonna have two of those with pistols. And two of them will be using melee weapons. This is going to make that last squad, let's say that third squad, particularly vulnerable. Now this first squad has already found some bullets, or at least some ammunition crates, and a couple of crates of canned food. So we're already getting four for four, and after I have done that I can bring these back to HQ. Just to make sure that, there we go, they're full, so they're coming home. Just to make sure that uh, this demo is going to proceed relatively quickly, I'm not going to have these guys complete all their orders. I'm going to tell them to go back so that we can continue with the next objective. I can also turn on scavenge view, which is done by pressing V. And over here you can see all the buildings that I have not yet scavenged. We have to think what to scavenge first. It will be best to check some shops or warehouses. Okay. Okay. I'll point you where to go. Now, let's see. Shops or warehouses. These things are marked different. Over here we have an abandoned pharmacy. We also have a building that could have been a restaurant back in the day. Um, it does say inflation is good. <laughs> I'm sure many people might not agree with you. And you can see that as you zoom out, there is a lot more to explore. Keep in mind, however, that if you want to, let's say, uh, figure out a way to start scavenging this uniformed services facility, you might want to take either a larger squad or a couple of days to get there, because just traveling by foot is not ideal. You will, however, get the opportunity, at least in the full version, to go for vehicles. And with that, of course, comes the requirement for food. Oh, sorry, for fuel. Chief, I will speak on behalf of the other citizens. Ready for action. Let us go and adapt the building to suitable shelter, so we won't spend a single more night underground. Very good. Yes. That sounds like a good idea. Clear. Now, the game now says we're going to turn a couple of these things into shelters. Every building has a slightly different cap. For example, this abandoned building has a cap of 43. This one has 40. Over here we got a 46. Uh, this one's 39. Considering I need to get up to 40, I'm thinking something that's not terribly big like this one. This is perfect for now. Let's go and adapt this building. and We're going to turn that into a shelter. In the meanwhile, the rest of the squads are going to continue their merry little scavenging operation. These guys are looking at the store, and they've already found three cans, or three uh, crates of canned food, so we're definitely making progress here. Building clear. Clear. Did I not give the order? Yeah, okay, you need to click it again. And now you can see that workers are going to be working on the building. They're bringing over wood. And hopefully I have enough resources to start getting this thing. It should be fine. Sir, just ah. a car that looks right my way. I'm trying to make a run again. Well, well, well. Okay. A vehicle. Let's try it. The vehicle's all the way over there. Clear. Uh, let's have a look at the vehicle, shall we? It is going to be nighttime in about an hour and a half, so this squad better be fast about it. 
Unknown type of vehicle. Just a sedan. It is recoverable. Unknown resource capacity. Basically, we don't know anything about the vehicle yet. Sir, the sun is getting low. We don't know what's going to happen during the night. We can continue our scavenging operations in the dark, but that will be way more dangerous than waiting until sunrise. And this is where you get to make your first real call. Are we going to continue with this little scavenging program of ours, or is it safer to get back to HQ and not lose any people, or rather risk any people? I'm going to say get back to HQ. Back in the HQ. The workers will return home too. Unarmed civilians should not walk after dark. Agreed. So we'll check out the car tomorrow. For now, come back. All the workers are going to come back out of the building. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'll have this building completed, but for now we'll just have to be a little patient and stay inside. Here we go, 10 for 22. And here's our first hostile. Sir, you just saw a group of infected. They might not be aware of our presence yet. Um, considering where they are, they could be coming directly for me. I'm going to say we hide. We'll stay away from them. I don't know where these guys are going to hole up. Or if they're just roving. Hopefully they're just roving, they're just passing through. But if these guys... Oh, we're opening fire. There we go, board eliminated. Well done, guys. Hopefully we can sleep soundly at night. Oh, there's another one. There is? Where? There are some infected around here. There, top right. I don't know if these guys are going to be attracted by sound. Because we did just make quite a bit of noise taking out their fellows. And maybe they're going to take offense with that. There's another one. See, these guys seem to come out at night. So if you want to be playing around at night, either you got to be, well, if that's a feature, really, really quiet about it. Or make sure you're heavily armed. Because these guys, most likely, um, are not going to take kindly to seeing additional people. Which they might consider to be food. Thankfully, we've made it through the night, and now I can go once again after this scavengeable vehicle. The other guys are going to continue scavenging the buildings here. I'm going to see what is in these buildings, and just get all the resources from them, and potentially turn them into something more useful. The, wo the workers are going to continue adapting this building. This night was easy. There are sure to be some infected around here. Yep. We should build some defenses before the next nightfall. Fair enough. Let's build a watchtower. Agree. We're going to build a wooden tower, and with that, ideally, we'll be able to see a bit farther. So, in order to do... Oh. Chief, there are signs of smoke. It's coming out of a building. I think there might be some people there. I recommend we go and investigate. Very good. Building Let's clear. investigate. Where are we going? Well, well, well. Looks like we got a vehicle. Ah, I miss driving so much. This will help speed up our scavenging. And we can run over the infected if they get too close. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Well, we're gonna see. On my way. Uh, how are we doing for fuel? 2.97 out of 3. We got no fuel, however. That is potentially a problem because it means that at the moment, if this thing is dry, we are not going to be able to use it again. Let's figure out this building that had the smoke coming out of it. Chief, we found some survivors. They've been living in terrible conditions for the last few years. We could bring them in. Yep, and this is always the big question of survival games. Are you ready to expand your group? To bring in new survivors? To bring in new mouths to feed? And new people to defend? I'm going to say yes. We're going to bring these people in. Uh, they're going to walk over and it's five people. But that kind of does mean that my shelter is no longer big enough. So we're going to have to bring an additional shelter over. All right, you guys back in the vehicle. Perfect. The building has now been adapted. And... Huh. We only got 32. Oh, right. You can have a resource capacity of 39. I didn't store any resources here. I store people. So I need to adapt another building. Very good. We're going to adapt this building into a shelter as well. Off you go. These guys are going to come in. Uh, as for the vehicle, let's see. What would be worth scavenging? Oh, what is this? This is a hunting shop. Sounds excellent. Let's get over there. 
also want to go and look for something that looks like a gas station so we can try and get some additional fuel for the vehicle. You guys are going to check out the hunting shop. Over here, we're still scavenging the buildings, which are seemingly empty. As for getting additional resources, uh, the amount of wood that I'm taking is going down pretty quick, considering that I'm building an additional shelter. So I'm going to have to find some wood, and ideally soon. And there it is. Okay. So over here, you got orders, and we can gather wood. Uh, let's say, yeah, I want to do that here. Go take down these trees. Off we go. And the workers come out, and they're going to take down the trees, bring in the wood, and we should have enough resources to go build watchtowers and other useful items. Why are you guys walking back? Well, you're carrying a lot of ammo. And another pistol, that's valuable. But you kind of forgot the car. Go, bet, go get your car back. And we can transfer the vehicle, or the resources into the vehicle. As for fuel. Pause the game. As for fuel. What is this? Is this a potential vehicle location? It's a car repair shop. They might have a vehicle, they might have fuel. Would be interesting. Over here we got a bakery. Here is another car repair shop by the looks of it. Findable resource. This is the shopping area of town. Parking lots definitely seen better days. Groceries, restaurants, music services. That's great, but I'm not seeing any fuel. I guess cars are going to be a luxury for now. So we'll just have to wait for that. All right, you guys go get your vehicle back. Um, as for building a tower, let's have a look. I can build the tower preferably with decent line of sight. Not sure where I want to defend yet. So let's just put it over here, right in the middle of the street. And hopefully with that, we'll be able to get a decent amount of vision, as well as the ability to defend the buildings as we have them right now. That's the plan. Operator. Let's see, these are the guys at the car. Let's go bring the car home. On my way. The other squad, and you can name these. Uh, this is the car squad, this is squad one. Squad one currently has no On orders. On my way. Let's tell them to go scavenge some more. Here's the car. Let's put the car over here. Get the squad out, and let's start scavenging something a little closer to home. It's almost night time again, 1838. This watchtower should be getting completed. They're just going to get more wood, I hope. Oh crap, we don't have any more wood. Scavenger is all coming back. Building clear. Clear. Yeah, we're working on cutting down trees, but it's going to take a little bit of time. I could assign more workers there, I suppose. Just speed up the proceedings. I think it's just about time to bring people home. We'll scavenge this some other day. Not right now, gentlemen. Because the infected are out. And I'm not interested in getting another meeting with them. Yep. Here we go. Now, I'm not sure yet if there's a, a heat mechanic. And by heat mechanic, I mean one of those mechanics where if you start building more, if your group starts becoming more active, that you get more attractive for targets. It does seem like they know pretty much where we are. So, uh, yeah, they're definitely fighting back a bit harder than last time around. There seems to be no shortage of them either. Now, is this going to do any damage to the HQ? Yeah, structure condition is dropping with every attack. I can fix it back up at a repair cost, of course. Nothing comes free. So at some point, perhaps we'll have to remove or let's say relocate the HQ uh, or just keep bolstering it and keep defending it better. Out of resources. All right, a new morning. Time to get to work. 
everybody. We're going to max this out. We're going to send 27 workers over there. I'm going to send the scavenger squads back out. Uh, that is squad number two. Squad number one. Oh, there's a... There's a couple of infected in this house. Right. Now, we have workers in here, but they're using bows and arrows. Great. It's not going to be a great weapon, but it's... For now, what we have. Uh, can I bring over a firearm, perhaps? Chief, we just found an assault rifle. Ooh. This will come in handy against large hordes. Let's just not waste too much ammo on nothing. Agreed. Use it with caution. Very nice. Assault weapon. Now we're getting somewhere. Now, these guys... I'd love to clear these out, but I'm not sure if they're going to come willingly. Yeah, go tell me about it. Gone. Now we've cleared the place out. Chief, the survivors that we took in, they have some important info that we could use. Oh yeah. They speak of various kinds of infected animals that they encounter. Oh great. Groups of survivors too, but they've lost people recently. It'll take some time for them to integrate. Let me find some jobs and shelter for them. Uh, yeah, we're gonna let them rest. Okay, let them rest. We'll, we'll let them rest, and then we'll make sure that these people get tended to. After that, they might be able to share any information that they know. S what? I can't read any of that. The infection's in decline. Seek others and rebuild. That's what they're trying to tell me. This is the infection-free zone. Please respond. Trouble survivors. The infected is in the climb. Seek trips and clear. Seems very much like an automated message to me. Is somebody there? Trouble survivors. The infected is in the Yeah, definitely an automated Seek message. Clear. Chief, this is the same transmission we received before. But the signal is even weaker. Our walkie-talkies are not powerful enough for long-range communication. We have to build a large antenna. A local library or university would be a good place to search for information on how to make it work. Right. Let's go there. Okay. So, bring scientific material to the HQ. Do we have anything that looks like a university? Well, well, well. <laughs> we so happen to have one. Um, pause. This is the school. This is what they want me to investigate next. I'm going to send both squads here. Because I don't trust this school not to have a ton of Zeds in it. Sorry, infected. This one has been promoted by the looks of it. Uh, you guys get to drop off your resources and then go to the school. There we go. Unfortunately, the car only holds four, so as much as we'd like to drive, not quite an option. Ready for action. We're on the move. Ready for action. On my way. Waiting order. All of you, check out the school. As for the rest of you, you're doing great work getting more resources. Now, how about fences? What can I do with fences? Because I can put palisades up. I can cordon off a part of the world like that. I can say I am not that interested yet in going towards these buildings. We're just going to cordon that off. I can do a wooden gate or a wooden palisade. So let's say a palisade is going to be over there. Yep, kind of as expected. The school is not as harmless as it looks. The school should be good to search now. Time to bring back that scientific equipment. We're going to have people working here, so we're going to have to probably take a few off of this particular project. Otherwise, this palisade is not going to do a whole lot of useful stuff. And you can see the watchtower can shoot over it, which is very nice to have. Now, the school did find, in fact, the scientific materials that we're looking for. So we're going to send them back home. And maybe we'll be able to build that antenna. The antenna... 
is currently blocked out. I guess we might need to research it first. There, basic antenna. And that is where the resources come in. It is, however, nighttime, so everybody... Oh, sorry. Here we go. Uh, we need to build a research center. Okay. Let's do this. First, though, everybody back home. All squads, return to base. And that's why. Now, considering the layout of this place, I think the watchtower here can be doing good work. We could have another one, let's say, here. Uh, oh, that's a big one. Watchtower is shooting, but of course, two guys with bows and arrows are not going to do a whole lot of work. Thankfully, the HQ can also help. There we go. We're eliminated. Yeah, we're going to have to try and do a bit more defending here. Uh, maybe a watchtower here and here could just cordon off the whole zone. Now, that's going to be it for this first episode of the prologue. Like I said, I'm very much looking forward to playing a whole lot more. And uh, fortunately, there is more in the prologue, so I'll definitely do another episode. When the game is exactly going to come out, there is no clarity on that yet. If you want to have an eye on it, have a look at it, wishlist it, link down below in the description. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. So I look forward to seeing what you think about what there is available at the moment. And maybe what your hopes are for this game. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon for the next one.